Yes, people, we're back in the kitchen, Jamaica Valley cooking and vibing, hosted by me, White Yardy. And you know the show guy already. We invite guests in, you know, then come in, cook for us, show us what's going. We talk to them as well, find a little bit about them. All different types of guests, special guests from all different types of places, different types of work, whatever. You're welcome in the kitchen, cooking and vibing. So let's go. So today's guest, now listen, listen, listen. If you're on social media, you might have seen some of his dishes. And what may I tell you, say, yo, them food, yeah, different. He likes to call it sexy cooking. Yeah, that's how he call it, sexy. I'm not going to lie. The food look good. If I was a food, would I talk to them food? Yeah. Like if, if me, I look food as a, as a food, me, I look them the type of food, if it be my partner in food, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? But without... Further ado, we're gonna invite him on set with me right now into the kitchen. Welcome everybody. Natty can cook. Woo! Come in. Oh, go on. Actually, big welcome. man, big man. Smile, now, first thing first, people. <laughs> he's not tall. He's tall, <laughs> but I'm not short. It's just that he's like you're, you're medium. He, no, you're se he's. Let's be real. He is. We measured before. He is seven six, so work it out. I know, I know yeah? ten eleven. Yeah, yeah. So, so he's seven six, and th that's why. So I'm not. Yeah, as you can see, look how high I made it to the kitchen roof and thing like. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. but listen, man, thank you for coming through and blessing the bro. kitchen. And I'm looking forward. Are to you this, ready brother. to eat, in? brother? Yeah, car. Big food in Zagwan. I'm tired of see your, tired of see your food online. It's time to actually sample it, bro. Are your food look good. I'm serious. Let like me tell you, yo, if me I look food for them with that, them food they look good, bro. Them, them look proper. So tell me what kind of sexy dish so you cool. do today. So first we're gonna get the duck. No, no, tell them what, what kind okay, of dish. Okay, cool. So, so cool. So first we're yes. gonna go with. So we're gonna go with a pimento and um, scotch bonnet duck. Yeah. With a callaloo. Look at the callaloo. Green. Kalaloo mash. Kalaloo mash. Which we a, made earlier, so. And a nice dark sauce, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's Let's, it, get, into Let's, get, Let's into get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, man. First, we're going to get the duck in the pan. Yeah. But you're going to go with a cold pan because it's got a lot of fat in it, so you're going to render down the fat. Cold pan? Yeah, cold, cold. So how do I go cook? You have to render it down slowly. That's how you get the fat nice and crispy. All right. Are, are you ready, yeah? Be ready, be ready, be ready, be ready. We have learned something new. So in with the cold pan straight away. Dog. So, listen, like I said, I've been seeing your videos. I know people probably have seen them. Your food just look five-star Michelin chef thing, like top, top thing. How did this start, brother? I went to college, you know, I went to Lucian College. And then after I went to Lucian College, I started, I was studying culinary artistry, okay. like, you know what I mean? Um, then from there, I started working in restaurants. Okay. And I started doing Mission Star restaurants. Yeah. Okay. And then from there, just elevated from there, you know what I mean? So, so, so okay, so he learned. He, he yeah, so, so I'm actually a professional chef. That's, like, that's I, what I, I, I want just, for you. Just learned this, like, on the yeah, back Yeah, that, that's what you like, actually yeah, do, yeah, yeah, proper yeah, yeah. thing. This is my full-time job. Yeah, but your, your food just always look different, and it seems like you are, you are a bit, you just say you're a perfectionist. Do you know what it is, though, but you've got to love your trade, innit? See, like, yeah. the same way you bust jokes, and you, you love it. I see that you love Sometime. it. Sometimes. So, yeah, yeah, I, I hear that. <laughs> I hear that, but yeah. you gotta love it, bro. Because yeah. at the end of the day, if you're not trying to love it, then how would you get the? How will it come out nice? Do you That's get what I'm true. So there, there's love that goes into your cooking. Hundred percent, man. They're gonna see it today, man. You see, thing when I always say, like, there's two jobs I don't think I could do. One is a teacher. Yeah. Come, like. I love my children, but yo, sometimes they get for my nurse. I don't know how some people take care of a whole classroom of kids. That's a lot to be dealing yeah, with. Annoying, isn't it? Of course! Oh, annoying, trust me. But I love mine. <laughs> and I couldn't be a chef in a restaurant because. A lot of pressure, bro. I've worked in a kitchen before. What was you doing in the kitchen? I was what them call. Who are the man who tell you, yo, five of this, son? Two of them there. Sous chef. Was it, was I was a sous chef. chef. I was a sous he was chef. a sous chef. So done. Well, what restaurant? My own thing. Part to a kitchen. My own thing. I was running that, but no, I was doing that with a professional chef. But okay, he, yeah. he he said he likes when I do that because it I can control the kitchen and make sure everybody's doing it, which is good. 
But brother, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot, bro. It's a lot of pressure. You're in the kitchen, 14 hours a day, no life. I, you know? And you love that. You know, it is. It's because when you see a nice plate of food going on and you see the customer looking very, very happy. Yeah. It's, you get that self satisfaction. Do you get what I'm saying? Like yeah, it's just yeah. like you see when you make people laugh and they're yeah, like, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. it's like the same type of thing. Like when, when people yam down the whole food, it's like raw. Like brings joy to you. You get it. Okay, okay. okay. It, it's it's interesting, it, man. And like I said, you what it, ten it. years have been doing this now. You said that. I started college in 011. 011. So and then from 12 11, years now. Yeah, like 12 years, man. 12 but, years. Yeah, but I, was, I took a little break when okay. I lost. I lost track of my life and yeah. I just got a cop in. And whatnot. Yeah. I mean, I come out and I was just like, you know what? Let me now try, try to start making food content. And now I'm at a place where it's just like people are digging the food. No, because no, real talk. Refining Caribbean food, especially where we come from, there's no refined Caribbean no, restaurants. There isn't. There isn't. There's African. Uh, everything there's Italian, else. There's every, I agree the, with you. And there's none. You go there where you want. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we need we need to break that. Hey, this whole stereotype that that, that of, uh, where you want. Uh, uh, me not have that. Have that. <laughs> me not Let me have explain that. something. You know what it is? It's not that they don't have it, it's just not ready yet. That's all it is, right? Because normally when somebody comes into a, a takeaway, they're asking for oxtail at lunchtime. In not ready yet, that's a dinner food, ask something else. We have they come at like 7 o'clock in the evening. And right? it's done then. <coughs> Only bun bun. <laughs> bun bun <laughs> rice, that's right. So we have the, they have the duck now. Um, up doing its thing. So what we're gonna do what is you gonna, call it Yeah, so no, we're slowly gonna render it down. So we're gonna render it down. Then once it's rendered a little bit, we're gonna get the the honey glaze, glaze it on top, mm -hmm. put it back in the pan because the caramelization from that will make it cook even nice to get the colour in. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna finish it in the oven. We've got the mash there that's already ready that we made yeah, beforehand. Yeah. Me and you're gonna have a little plate off. <coughs> if you're ready, if you're ready. If you're ready, you're gonna learn I'm, something new today. Anything not for a challenge, you know. Uh, I mean, the sauce is ready. I'm just gonna finish it with some nice garnish. Okay, okay. And the, and the pickle planting. Pickle planting, you hear it right there. Pick so listen, like, you've been doing this for a while. What's been some of your highlights of, of since you've been cooking? Like, uh, like so my, so my biggest highlight was like when I come out of jail, I mean, a mm -hmm. year after, I threw a six school taster menu. Mm -hmm. So that was very, very uh, like a personal point to me because it was yeah. like, well, in 365 days, look what I've established. Since then, I've fallen for, for, for events. I've been, um, yes, we did have a talk about that. Yeah, last week or the weekend before, mm -hmm. I threw a four course brunch for my brethren that died. Oh, RIP to your brethren, man. RIP. And I mean, that was a very, very personal one. So that was probably the biggest thing out of everything because it was just like, raw, like, man's throwing an event. And people are coming out and. Do you get it? No, because as I said, I've seen the food that you're doing and it, it does, it looks very good, it looks appealing. That it's, it's nice, it's nice food that he's making. He's making, and the thing about it, today he's doing a duck, but I've seen on his page he has done Caribbean food, breaking it down into a different level. And we need to see things like this because we need to show people say, yo, Caribbean food can be cooked at a level like top star, five star restaurants, and things like that. And you know, who better to do it than the Caribbean people themselves? Because when other people try to do it, them got the foolishness. They put like green peas in it. They make rice porridge and things like that. And no, we don't want to see that. Yeah, we don't want to see that. We want to see proper things. So, so what, what, what's coming up for you? Like, where you want to take your, your cooking so, level? So, in up? terms of like life, I wanna, I wanna, I'm pushing the events. Yeah. So, I've got an event coming up on October the 7th mm -hmm. that I want you to come to. I'm going to do my best to be there. You yes, know what I mean? So, me and guests. Do, so, the main course is a chicken curry croquette. Okay. A red bean emulsion. Red bean who? You know, like kidney beans. Yeah, yeah you put it to rice yeah, and beans. A red bean. An emotion. So what, what do you mean do? emotion? So like, I'm gonna cook it down. It's gonna move. Yeah, so I'm gonna, yeah, it's gonna move. Emotion. <laughs> that mean emotion. That mean emotion. Move. Emotion. Oh, emo oh, it's a, what yeah. kind of emotion? Yeah, happy? Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. very happy. <laughs> so I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna put it in some coconut milk. Yeah. Then I'm gonna cook that down. Then I'm gonna emulsify that with oil. What? So, so, so cool. So imagine you make a mayonnaise. Better yeah? this sound like a science class right now. But, but, you know is, but refined food is, is actually science. Science, yeah. Like, hundred percent because it's yeah. just like you want the food to. Like, these ducks are gonna be sexy, you know. So you so you actually just have it skin side down. Skin side down for now. Five yeah. to eight minutes. And as you can see, it's starting to come off the pan. It's gonna be nice and rendered. You know what I mean? But yeah, as I was saying, so. 
I've got a, uh, a two piece brunch. Yeah, yeah. October the 7th in Brixton. Mm -hmm. There's a lot you to come to. Yes. I'm going to do a curry, chicken curry croquette with red bean emulsion. And then the next course is going to be a jerk chicken balancing. No, it's not even. I'm even lying to you. I'm doing a. Uh, I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing a, a, a curried lamb chop. I like yeah. lamb enough. Banging, I love lamb and I love lamb. Yeah. Expensive though. Yeah, I know, but I love it. I love it. I love it. So chicken, uh, so I'm going to do a curried lamb chop, chop yeah. with a plant, in a, a plant in a spoon more. And then I'm going to oh. plant in a spoon more. So a well, spoon more is like, uh, you know how people take I mean, balloons? I'm the only one don't know where I'm going right now. You know how people take balloons? No, I you know what you're talking about. But you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The, big, the big thing, the oh, big yeah, cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's actually meant for making cream. So you're going to make a cream? From the planting. What are you talking A plant in a spoon more. Google that. Google, 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 Google it. Google it. Show them. Yo, no, this 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 sound like some technical thing, man. No, I'm definitely gonna try my best to be there, man. Cause I wanna come check it out because you know it's good to see, especially you like a young man doing this. You know what I mean? Normally, when we think about these cooking thing, it's always some old old people always tell me, oh, this is how you do it, and no, put your own style and twist. How do you want this cook? Cook. You want it cooked, yeah? We have more of mine cook. What well, you mean? Know, but we're both gonna have it the same way. No, no, I have mine cook. What you mean? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. No, this is not a part of cooking. I get it. There's, there's certain things I understand. I feel like Caribbean people, we are stuck in certain ways. You know, cook it down and down. Yeah, we want to cook it down. We want to make sure it cook. Like, it's like we want to make sure it's dead. Dead, dead. Yeah, dead, dead. Not dead. When it burns it down. Dead, dead, dead. Yeah. Like, yeah, but you would cook different, right? Yeah. So you would suggest to have this more. Well, look at that, though. Sexy duck. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to have your own restaurant one day? Essentially, yeah, I would like to have that. But you yeah. know it is? It's just about trying to get the right type of people. Yeah. And let me put this in the oven quickly. All right, straight now the oven we go. Up in the oven we go. Up in the oven we Yeah, I in the duck it go. It a cook fast, it a cook slow. <laughs> Street vibes. No. Dog vibes bossing out your yeah, head. Yeah. <laughs> but no, man, I'm eventually you say yeah. about you. So eventually I want to get everyone, everyone that's come out of jail mm -hmm. and get them on a course working with me. That's good, man. Working on a, essentially trying to change their life around because it's very hard when people first come out of jail. Do you know what I mean? Like, very. Like a lot of my brethren, when they first come out of jail, they ain't got no pattern. I know. They got, they're not going they just drop back into the same. And they just pull back into the same And it's cycle. so easy, especially because of, of where we live and the environment and the people in jail, around. You've got bare men that are Yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah, and they want to put in at the same, let's link up, let's do this, let's do that. So, so, so the fact that I'm trying to engage man and say cool let's change your life change it yeah yeah let's create something that you can be able to learn new cultures you can travel you, you can do a lot of, a lot more things in your life so would you go back into the, the actual because you know go, go back to brixton i go back to brixton no going into the prisons and 100 percent. i go cooking. back to brixton uh, you don't have to go one there. there's many prisons you know no but I, mean? I want to go back to brixton to find up certain govs you know what i mean certain govs need to hear it like <laughs> <laughs> yeah <I'll> cook for <laughs> the <laughs> pussy <or> no <laughs> But no, listen, man, I think it's good that you're doing that, especially what you, that, what you want to do as well. That, that's amazing, man. And, you know, maybe you can run like a course where it could be like a qualification that they get. Yeah, man. But definitely. maybe it's looking to setting up something like that, that it's an actual, um, yeah, qualification they can get. I don't know what the right word to be in cooking fit. It'd be like a culinary NVQ level. Something, so get, yeah, yeah, so it begins. Because I know, I know that, um, what's that guy used to do one? Ramsey. No, the other one. Oliver. Yeah, Oliver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him used to do one where he used to have a school. But cool, so hey, well, in Brixton, so you had Badway Bakeries, mm -hmm. and you had The Clink. So that's where I was working. So I was in The Clink for maybe like 14 months. Okay. Months. And that's a. Uh, and, and that's open to the public. Okay. So you can come in and you can sample our food. And at the same time, you're learning a course of food, how to. So you. It's all inmates serving you food. Is it? Yeah. Where are you? The Clink. Mate, it's number two on. TripAdvisor. Google it right now. The, the, the clink. clink. No, the I'm going to write it down. I remember the clink, the clink. Brixton. And, and, and inmates come out and serve you? Come out and serve you. Yeah. And there's girl coming in there, man coming, everything. And they say you did the 14 <laughs> years. As they say, he start smiling. He said that. He start smiling. So listen, as I said, you were running the event. You're still running your events. Yes. Yeah, um, so so you got your fourth one coming up, right? Yeah, so, no, fifth one. So fifth. I got, yes, I got the fifth one in October the 7th. That's mm -hmm. by Brockwell Park. Mm -hmm. The one after that is going to be... 
we're gonna do a back to school event. Okay. So we're gonna try to up the numbers. Yeah. 200 people, back to Whoa. school. You know what I mean? But it's a lot of people to cook for. But, but refined school dinners. So, what did you have? Oh, you didn't even go to school over no, there. So, what was you having when you was in Jamaica yeah, having school why, dinners? Why? Stew peas. You know what I mean? Steak and kidney. <clears throat> liver. 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 Yeah. I don't like liver. I don't like liver. I don't like liver. I don't like liver. Offal is, is a no. When, 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 we go, when we go to school dinner and, and, and go to school, they say liver to them. They say liver. I say, boy. You have to like, eat it though, man. Yeah, I don't like But, you know, yeah. eat hard but, food. But cool. Do you know what? So, I'm going to take. What kind of school dinner you cook for them? Lasagna and, and garlic bread, fish and chips, sprinkle cake. I mean, that's what we're going to do. But that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take, like, okay. so take a lasagna mm -hmm. and I'm going to refine it. I'm going to even change it from the type of pasta and change it to tortellini. So I'm going to put like the ragu in the pasta, mm -hmm. a bechamel sauce, have like the plant. Have, have, 200 people? 200 people. Bro. You, you alone? No, no, no. no. Oh, I'm God. a superman, bro. God, <laughs> no, no, no. Yo, me, me, me hate him. I, listen, I hate cooking. People yeah. might not know this about me. I have to, not that, Bob, no, not that I don't hate cooking. Sorry. Not that I hate cooking. I have to be in the mood to cook. Okay. And yeah. when I'm in the mood to cook, I will cook. Like I'll go in the kitchen and say, say I'm cooking today and I'm in the mood. I'm start prepping to tomorrow. I know what I'm cooking the next day. I'm already like in that mood and get things together. Yeah. But for me, just in a, in a my house and say, yo, may I get up and cook? Sometimes it, it, it I mean, here, they do that. Like I hear it. It's a lot. You gotta wash up, you gotta tidy up, yeah, you do this. All of that. that. And only that, I have children. And them them specific with things. They it's want, like uh, them no want, want this, this and I no want that. that. Yeah, 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 I feel you. Yo, sometimes in my house, me, I wonder if me I run restaurant. It's long, bro. Me I cook out five different dishes and I only four are in my house. All this work. Do you think I cook for myself? Who you cook for then? Just for the girl. <laughs> Hey, I don't know, but yeah, put it, he's put, I think he's putting it out there, dad, you know, hey. But listen, I mean, it's a way, like, if you can cook, if you can cook as a man, you have no problem finding a wife, you know. There's no but problem, you make sure bro. the wife can cook, though, yeah, though. 100%. Yeah, what? She, she not can cook to the level she like has you. She to cook, bro. To you. No, what, let's get No, but she don't have to cook to the level of you, right? But long as she can cook. But you know, but there's a difference between fine dining yeah. and, like, food that we can have at home. Exactly. It's a different level. Like, so you not cook like this at home? No. What? Dude, look how long this is. Look how long we've been prepping all day, bro. <laughs> no, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ha. Why wear this the right way? <laughs> Have you ever... You know you can cook, yeah? Yeah. So, most time when you talk to a girl, you invite them around for dinner, though? Yeah. Not, not really, but yeah. But, we, but for this example, we can say that, yeah. So I invite them around for dinner. Yeah. I cook them with a nice little meal. No, no, nice little meal. Stop telling lie. You cook them a proper five-star meal. Make them feel like them there in the shard. But you know, it's, but that's just giving false advertisement. Why not? <clears throat> because when a girl experiences the cooking, yeah. she's going to fall in love. But are you cooking? I know nobody else cook it. Are you cook it? But sometimes you don't want to advertise that. Sometimes so you, you want to get pie and mash? Yeah, take away, innit? <laughs> Chinese. No, man. Yo, remember, that's true though, because if you cook for a girl, yeah, and you made her this sexy dish, like you call them, you know what I mean? Look well good and tastes nice, everything proper. She'll go always expect that. 100%. So the next day, when you just get up and say, make a little spaghetti for her, she'll go, where are you going with this? Say, What's this, bruv? She'll she go mm -hmm. ask if we refine this she place. She's gonna ask for a plant in sandwich with mm -hmm. the bread. See it there? A true, you know? A true. Literally. But you have a cheat code, because you, you, you literally. It's not a bad thing doing this day and age, because right now the cost of living high, you know? So if, you, so if you take a girl out to a restaurant now, now it's very expensive. So if you can do it at home, good to you, man. Good to you. I'm so glad I'm locking my wife long time, you know. <laughs> and I can cook still. My wife loves my Let's cooking. Let's see what this duck is saying. Let's we'll see what the duck has said. Quack, quack. That the duck said. <laughs> okay. So we have the duck over here. We need to let that rest because it's like... I'm tired. <clears throat> yeah. If you want to sleep, you want to <laughs> tired, you, you even want. though you're taking it out of the oven, yeah. it's still cooking. Yeah, like when you cook steak, you have to make it rest, though. But of course, we're cooking it to a certain temperature for me and you. <laughs> well <laughs> done, well done. Well done. <laughs> Biscuits. I, I just want to make sure it's cooked, that's fine. But it, look, it does look but nice. Even, even a little bit of pink. Who? A little bit of pink? No pink. You throw on the edge, you know. Of course, what we're going to do now... Yeah. And what is this? This is the honey and pimento glaze. Okay. We're just gonna brush this on top of it. 
Yes, people. I remember you can get the Pimento, you know, with Jamaica Valley. We have the this is all Pimento, Jamaica Valley stuff. Serious. Pimento, the summer body place are hired. We have it right there, down there. Yeah. What we're going to do? Is there anything that you, like, obviously, uh, you know, you learn to cook. You, you know, you went to the schools, you worked in restaurants and that. But there is the dishes that you put your signature on it. Um, do you get creative and say, you know what, I do my thing now? I do a mad jerk chicken. <clears throat> so what I do is um, I make a jerk chicken balancing. So a balancing is like I butterfly yeah, the yeah, chicken. Help. Yeah. So, listen, people, <clears throat> so if you understand at home, fair enough. I don't. I, I like to know. So. so what I've done is I've, I've butterfly the chicken breast. So imagine okay. you get a chicken breast like that. Yeah, yeah and then you cut I've it and turn a butterfly. And then I make a ch jerk chicken mousse. Yeah. So then I put it in the middle mm -hmm. and then rolled it in a balancing. So a balancing is basically... Oh, they want to say the S word. No, I know what you mean when yeah, you roll it up. Yeah, uh, uh, sausage, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I know what you mean though, but you roll it up. Uh, I get it now, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so you, then you put it into a balancing, you, you then tie it. Yeah, with plastic or whatever it is, yeah. And then you then put in a water bath. Yeah. A water bath is, to the French term for it, it's, it's called a sous vide. Yeah, okay. So you sous vide it up we to. Sous -vide. So you sous vide it up to like 65 degrees. Mm -hmm. So 63 degrees is when food cooks like proteins. Yeah. So you after the temperature, then you then cook it, then you then seal it in a pan, very hot. Then you glaze it with the jerk sauce. Mm -hmm. So the last time I did a very nice dish like that, it went viral. I did it with a yam terrine. So I, I got yam. I what name terrine, please? So a, a yam terrine is, so I basically got I the know yam. yam be, where terrine be? So a yam terrine is, so I got it on the, on the mandolin and I sliced it very, very thinly with brown butter, okay, okay. and whatnot. I then layered it on top of each other and then cooked it yeah. on a tray like this. Mm -hmm. Then I pressed it. Be, you know? Then I pressed. Then I pressed <laughs> it. Just never that that far. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't care anybody watching this. Yeah, me know enough of the don't know half of the words what I must say. Yeah, <laughs> so it's good that I am asking. I don't care. I'm going like me at the idiot to ask because when I learn to at home. Yeah, you know some people. Some people hear big words, you know, I'm like, yeah, 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 man, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what the big word be. I like to ask question. Duck, duck, nice to me now, like the, the, Sexy duck, innit? Yeah, it, it looking, looking, looking good. Looking good and the honey and thing. What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, man, that see, look good. You know, it's re 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 refined food, it takes a lot of time, bro. It takes a lot of time. Sometimes you just gotta just. To take time with it. What, what, what? So you, you said you worked in a few, you worked in few restaurants, right? Yeah, I so I worked in a Mission Star restaurant. Okay. That was horrible. Never like it. No, do you know what it is? It's like, when you're in a type of environment, it's like, man's talking to you, like... You're talking down to you. <clears throat> do you know what I went in a very high position. So mm -hmm. I, was, I was young and I was gassed. Because mm -hmm. I've gone from like a, I'm controlling like 10 chefs. And now I've gone into a position where I'm controlling like five chefs, but it's a lot more refined. So I've gone from like working in like five guys mm. to working in gauchos. Obviously, that's not the equivalent. But no, but I know a, you mean, yeah, yeah. So, a little bit a, up, yeah. so I've gone from like playing like championship ball yeah, yeah, to Premier League. To, to playing Premiership. Yeah, yeah. A man are on me. Yeah, yeah. Man want my position. Yeah. Especially I'm a young black youth. There's no black yeah. youths in the kitchen. So they already uh, yeah, yeah, you already have a fight. So already you have this, you have this on your back. Mm -hmm. So they're saying to stuff like stuff to me like, oh, have you ever stabbed anyone? Huh? Do you know Stormzy? Huh? Like, 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 they're the same bare things. Like remember, these are like middle class white youths, or like some like, European people. Like it's, it's, it, the, the kitchen environment was very, it wasn't a nice environment to be in. They were so, stereotyping you from the get go, and so me, I lost my yeah. passion for cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was just like, how can I be in an environment being there? Yeah, this is definitely well done for you. Definitely. Well, I mean, I know what that means, you know, but so, I mean, temperature high. Yeah, ready. Yeah, well done for me. That's what I like for here. So you were saying back to the, um, yeah, you'd say the environment wasn't great, so. Yeah, the, the environment was, was horrible, so it, it made me lose, like, my passion for cooking. Yeah. So I ended up doing bare f Yeah. Ended up in jail or whatever. Okay. I then. But well, you've come job. back out now and you've turned around when and... When I said, Joe, I decided to change my life around. I was yeah. like, raw, all these people making social media content, I can do this. Yeah, yeah, you can. You know what I mean? And you do a great job at it as well. So though. I just saw it as, you know what? Let me try to try a thing. And then, yeah, it started working. And then from here on in, we just started clarting off. Yeah. So what do you want to do? Like, because, you know, like you have... You're very creative at what you do. You're, you're a very good cooker as well. 
and there's so many opportunities probably there, but what direction do you want to go in? Like, in one of these TV shows, like a master yeah, so, chef or... So, like, so I want to do Great British Menu, because I want to oh. do Great British Menu just because of the fact that it will help me get my brand out there. Mm -hmm. Because the demographic that I'm appealing to isn't really... So everyone likes Caribbean foods. Yeah, but, but you want but, but, to everybody. But when you refine it, and yeah. you put a, a bigger price on it, people are saying, why am I coming for curry goat? And rice, I know, which I is know. like which is like fifty pound. Yeah. When I can go to D and D's around the corner, uh -huh. and it's ten pound. Nothing wrong with D and D's around the corner. <laughs> just D and D's. <laughs> hey man, I don't know if there's he a D and D's. He said it. I don't know. I don't know if there's a D and D's, but hey, D and D's. I don't know. I, I've never had your food, so I don't know. <laughs> Somebody out chance say, yo, what do we do them? What do we do them? Yeah. No, man, but, but you're right. Though. When it comes to refined food... But people yeah. don't want to spend their money, bro. No, because, you know what it is? It's because, again, it goes back to Caribbean food. If it was not Caribbean food and it was in a high-end restaurant, people could happily come spend them 100 and add. Look on the money, we are going to sell naturally. Cause if you go hacker, son, on a night out, you're spending 150 pounds. Easy. But if you come to support man, you don't, getting, want, to, you no, don't, want, to, you don't want to spend 50 pounds to come no, support No, you want to beg him the meal. Yeah. I, I, you, want, you want the meal for free. And that's what I don't get. Yeah, we need to change that. To be honest, people, we do need to change that mentality because cost of living is going up high in everywhere. So everybody are make money. Prices are going up in everywhere. So if the, if the local food man start at rise up theme price, then do it. Oxtail expensive and I think oxtail cheap. Yo, we got some place all in America. You know much hey, I found still? a plug for it though. Oh, I found man. I found a plug for it though. Yeah. Eight pound a kilo. Where you farm there? Putney. So you have cut off your own tail then. Yeah, literally. Man, I get we locked up, jump fence and I cut off tail. <laughs> no man, I, I've seen you made a good ox tail as well. Yeah, I refined it, man. I yeah, broke it down, no. made an oxo croquette, made yeah. a um what that, I made a plant in I made a plant in terrine, so we spoke about the yam yeah, terrine yeah. earlier. So it's the exact same process. Okay. Getting a mandolin, you've got to slice it very thin, yeah. you cook it, press it, whatever. Got that, cut that, then fried every side of it. Mm -hmm. with, with refined cooking, bro. It's just about, it's, nah, it's just, it's it's, there's so many more I, I, elements. I'll be honest, it. I like it because it does help showcase that our food can be delivered in that, that way as well. And that's what it is. Yeah. There's no one doing it. Nobody now do it. Every, everybody has it. You have refined Japanese food, right? Uh, most of the Asian places have it. Most of the European places have it. So even as we said, African places have it as well. A lot of the African countries, they have their own things from different parts. That they, it's just the Caribbean is the only one that is always lacking. Lacking. And I think it's because we get so comfortable with what's already here and available to us. Like, just like we said about prices, we are used to something and we don't want it. it goes back to even barber. Just, we're, not, we're, not, we're not talking about it. even the, the local barber. You go to some barbers are here just as in, in different places. Their prices are high. You go to your local barber and for 20 years you still want to pay him 10 pounds. It, so it's ridiculous. It's a joke. Because everything, we need to change this mentality, people, because prices are going up high in every way. Every little thing costing. So why we always still stick to what it is? Go Come elevate, on, man. man. We, we have, have to, to we have to, we have to. Are you hungry? Yeah, man, man, I'm not gonna lie. You ready, yeah? Yeah, man. Cool. I'm ducking starving. Where are you to it? Trim it down, isn't it? You so, know, like when you give it a shape up. Yeah. See, so I trim it. <clears throat> yeah, make it sexy, isn't it? I'm really, a, oh yeah, I get a, a shape. Okay, for real. So, okay, one guy. Don't show over them, though. That's for you, bro. Try one. Let me know what you think. I never taste it. Let me try again. <laughs> I like duck you know. Mmm. Duck is nice. Okay, I'm cooking it. If you try cooking bread, you know, they, they do well with that one, man. Ever think about doing cooking before? Never, you know. Oh, this, this well, maybe I should take it up. Yeah, man, take it up. Take it up. So we cut off the bottom to make it look pretty, so it just sits up nice. Give me an extra piece. Mm -hmm. You really cut off more duck? Oh, it's well cooked, bro. I know some of your, your, your chef friends with them sisters. Like, they're going to they're gonna slander me. They're going to say yeah. to me, is this how you're cooking the duck? But I'm going to say, it you know, cook, it cook different and it tastes good. Different people, really. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's why the option is there. How do you like your this? How do you like your that? Well done. To be honest, one of my friends has been, been teaching recently to say, try go medium, rare. And I, that's, I feel that's like you should try medium well. No, no, no. Medium, no, sorry, medium well, sorry, that's it, medium well, not medium rare. 
he keeps saying go down from well to medium and i have tried it but we still eat round the side and kind but of why though what is what is throwing you off the color but why have you ever tried it like have you actually you don't want a biscuit bro you don't want a biscuit no but but the color just sometimes you look on it and it look like it i got more so it's just moving so. at you straight yeah, I'm not going to cover my move back. I'm not, mm, I'm not supposed to eat something where I talk to me. It's like I cut the duck now here. Quack! No, I don't want to eat that. It's alive. Yeah. No, but it looks well and done, the, man. The skin is crispy. Well crispy, too. Mm hmm. Well done. So, what kind of mash this be? Kalaloo mash. Kalaloo mash. So, and how did you make this? Because we prepped it earlier. So, you use so, the kalaloo. So, we prepped it with Jamaica Valley ingredients. We've sauteed it down with onions, garlic, thyme. Yeah. I did some all-purpose seasoning. Mm -hmm. got, some, got a bit of water. And the glazed potatoes there. in there as well. At the end. And then, you know what I mean? Milk, butter. Mm -hmm. And now it's got a lovely green colour. Yeah, they're, they're, they're different. So, so what you want me to do now? So now I want you to... No, nah, man, you can't give me the bigger spoon after you take the, you take the little... No, but this is for you though. You're hungry, isn't it? Mm, yeah, but... But you say you give me a challenge. I'm confused now. So go on. The duck's a little bit. Yeah, sabotage my duck. No, it's a little bit too far, bro. Saying, you messed it up. Use the other spoon. You sabotage me. You sabotage me, people. You see it? You never make me do it by myself. Close the iron when you open it and do it, watch. Pass that over there, sir. You can't save it again. Yeah, we can't save that one still. See it? No, no, no. You see it? I know I did right. Make a nice shape. So then we go so now and go so people. See how me do it? Yeah. So we're gonna edit that so it look like a me do it, yeah? Okay. Take yes. one, so what we're gonna do up. now? Yes. Yes, yeah, so what we're gonna do now? Saucy so boss. So what we're gonna do? Garnish. No, so we need to put some of the pickled oh, pickle plant in. Oh yes. Let me see how you do yours. Pickle planting. Fine dining, you know. It's a proper fine dining. Show me to do yours as well. No, me I got do mine. Are you sure, yeah? Yeah, me I got do mine. Have you got it, yeah? Me I got do mine. <laughs> go, go and do, me it. do mine. Plant it. Yeah, go on. Alright, boom. Oh, I'm tear. I can't do this now. Oh, I'm tear. Watch mine. Watch on the plate. What we're gonna do now? So we're gonna try to build on top of it. Because huh? at the end of the day, food mm -hmm. is about height, isn't it? Yeah. Food about height or taste? About height. Because how do you view food? With your oh, eyes yeah, first, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Try to curl it up, make it nice. But you're gonna keep this gap free here, that's where you're gonna put your sauce. Which gap? This oh. gap is there. Boom, boom! What's mine now? <laughs> Don't sabotage it you now. <laughs> no, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're Yo, good. mine higher than yours. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> and now you want to put a little bit of Chris? So yeah. I'm even doing yours now, man. Move. No, because you know mine when I shot right now. Yo, mine I look good still, you know. Don't, don't be jealous, bro. Don't be jealous. Can, can, can you tell? Bro. Can you tell? Yeah, don't be jealous, bro. Not because mine looks sexier than yours. Don't sabotage me. Watch them, man. Watch there. I want me to do this. Tell me where the sauce go before you throw it and mash up my things. I'm watch you. Just now, amigo? It's in the middle, bro. And what kind of sauce is this? This is a honey glazed duck sauce. So we got, we, 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 rendered, we rendered down the duck. Mm hmm Got the flavours from that, took it out, fried off the onions in it and whatnot. I went from there.
Look at you, master chef. Obviously. <laughs> Why? <laughs> now bring some more sauces. Yeah, try to leave me sauceless <laughs> over here. Man, I try to take away all of my sauce. Me have the sauce boss. Saucy, saucy. Look at more this. This looks, this looks so beautiful. If you ask me for cook this, I can't do it, but. And then what I'm gonna that I'm just there I could do just forget a little style, you know. So funny. Yeah, you just go like that, just a little bit. Just... You want you want me to work for you? 100 percent When you ready? Like Sous chef. The, like, no, I do the tasting. So cool, so that's and there this we, is go. What we got. So we got a honey pimento duck, a kalalu mash, finish with our garnish and pickle pa um pickled planting. And there you have it people. Fine dining. What do you call it? Refined, refined, Caribbean, refined food. Caribbean food with the one and only Natty can cook. That's but it's all about the taste, so you know we have to get in there. Taste. So, as you can see, the dish looks very good. I'm not going to lie, and I know this. I know you do many great dishes online, but this is the first time I've try it. I'm excited because it looks. I even cooked it to your temperature, bro. Yeah, man, respect that. What do you mean, you know what man? Mean? So, so I think, go, man. You know what I mean? So, let's try it. Wait, that's it. Try everything oh, together. No, you know is, take everything, so every element, that, that with the sauce. That, that, with and the that. sauce, yeah, and... And go like this now. The pickle plant in it. Yeah, when that plant in there kick in, woo! Like a sweetness of it. Nice. When you feel good, you can't talk. I just. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, I like that one. Tell people they're going to find you. Woo! Tell them, tell them what I'm going cook, underscore. Not he can cook. Not he can cook on TikTok. He can cook. That's it, we can cook, trust yeah, me. Yeah, and check out when I'm brunch. If you see me do a brunch, make sure you go and go support and check it out. Cause, yo, he might go on with things. It's so good, I don't want to share it, but I'm going to share it. Nobody's getting nothing. No. <laughs> Till next time, see you. Cooking and vibing. Jamaica Valley. Yeah! Yeah, yeah.